Hello guys, welcome back. It's time to face our tiger's camouflage. So I'm gonna mainly paint today, but before we get to that I need to prepare our vehicle properly. At the beginning elements that I'll have to paste or temporarily install before painting the pattern on the vehicle. These are mainly parts of the roof hatch, windshield frames and doors. After assembling the elements, I painted them with a black butter primer and then covered the inner parts of the hatch or doors with Mr. Color Blue Grey paint. Using ultra glue, I glued some elements to the model. The remaining ones, such as the doors or the upper hatch, were taped up from inside with masking tape. I also masked all the holes and secured the model from the inside before painting. First color is dark yellow or sandy yellow. When applying the paint I tried to create delicate shading using the presence of a black undercoat. To be honest, a vehicle in this color would also look interesting and it even crossed my mind to leave it like this, but maybe another time. After the paint had dried properly, I started masking with Patafix. 
I tried to reproduce the original pattern as accurately as possible. Of course, masking can be made based only on your imagination, but even then it's worth uh, drawing a pattern and basing on it. I covered the vehicle with a solid olive drop paint layer. After adding a few drops of dark yellow paint, I got a lighter shade and slightly brightened some parts. After removing the masking, it was time to paint another pattern. First, I used Molotov black liner to make some sketch. Then I've painted it with Vallejo model color black. In case of such painting, I suggest you use a small flat brush instead of a micro precise one. Thanks to this, the paint will be applied faster and above all evenly, leaving a smooth surface. I applied two layers of paint this way and I must admit that the effect was surprisingly good. The camouflage pattern is really impressive. I decided to improve the painting by slightly brightening the yellow color. By the way, this is a good aerography training. You just have to be careful not to go beyond the light, like in kindergarten.
In my opinion, black color was too strong against the rest of the camouflage. I lightened the black paint a bit with dark yellow paint and tried to tone down and diversify the look of the black patterns a bit. Precision is of course welcome in this case. Have I already mentioned aerography training? I think it's a bit better. At this stage I leave the hull for now and start preparing all the other internal parts of the vehicle. I cut them out of frames and clean them thoroughly. Some of them required a little gluing and it was ready for painting. After applying the primer on some elements, I let them dry and started painting the lights and the interior lamps. I used blue, red and orange clear paints for this. I diluted the paint slightly with Mr. Leveling Thinner and applied with a precise brush. Then I've painted the parts with blue-grey, including the internal grill element, which is the only photo edge plate in the set. I didn't put primer on it because it will be barely visible anyway. I just didn't want it to shine too much. I painted the other elements with olive drop, and started painting the details with a precise brush. These are mainly ammunition boxes and belts as well as interior vehicle equipment. I've also painted small details using Molotov markers. And at the end I put dark wash on all the elements.
As for the parts that will never see daylight, I must say that I was more than happy with the result. So that's it for today. We are slowly approaching the finish line of the gas construction. I think the series will have two or three more episodes. Please let me know in the comments if the camouflage version suits you or if you would have made it a bit differently. Also remember to give a thumbs up if you like my work. In the meantime, hold on and see you soon. Bye.